This week is National Volunteer Week, an occasion to celebrate volunteers and their contributions to the community. In Dunedin, volunteer efforts are coordinated through Volunteering Otago and Manager Anna Clare joins us to discuss the work they do year round. Good evening. Good evening. What's happening here for Volunteer Week? Um, so there are lots of things happening, lots of organisations are celebrating by thanking their volunteers or hosting like afternoon teas or dinners or events like that. Um, at Volunteering Otago um, we're encouraging people to nominate volunteers for our very first ever Proud Dunedin Volunteer Awards mm -hmm. which will be um, not live but on the radio on July 6 on Otago Access Radio at 5pm. So yeah it's a great opportunity to thank volunteers. How many volunteers have we got in this community? Um, so it's really, really hard to put a number on volunteers because a lot of volunteering is done um, informally mm. um, and organically. Um, but chances are that either you're a volunteer, you know someone that volunteers, or you have received the benefit of someone that volunteers. Is there a need for more people to volunteer? Always. <laughs> so um, we currently work with over 240 different organisations that list volunteer roles um, and that is just a small portion of the volunteering that needs to happen or that can happen around the community. Um, so there's always a need for people to volunteer. Tell us about some of the work that the volunteers are involved in. Um, so it's a really wide variety of things. Um, so volunteers um, help in all kinds of places. So the walking tracks around Dunedin, there's a group on Wednesdays that go up and maintain the Silver Peak tracks, make sure that they're walkable. Um, they go rain or shine. Um, there's volunteers that rescue animals um, from that are abandoned or dangerous. Um, that work with SPCA and Dog Rescue Dunedin. There's volunteers that um, help pick up rubbish off streets. There's volunteers that take library books to people that are housebound. Um, there's volunteers that um, deliver meals on wheels. Um, volunteers that help in kitchens doing cooking, mm. um, all kinds of things. Um, you name it, you can pro probably do it and volunteer. How important is that work to the community? Um, so. Community is defined by volunteers and without volunteers there probably is no community. Um, I know um, if volunteers stopped doing the things that they do, our country would come to a standstill within a couple of days. Yeah. What sort of significant projects are volunteers involved with? Um, so let's see, so there's a bike track, Mountain Bike in Otago, um, created um, a while ago um, that um, if they hadn't done that um, it wouldn't be there for people to enjoy and use um, just um, here in Dunedin. Um, volunteers are helping with um, Oh, lots of different <laughs> things, sorry I'm having there's a blank. A, what do you think <laughs> the best part of being a volunteer is? Oh, um, that's, um, there's so many different things. It depends on who you are and um, what you value and what you get out. Um, I think um, for a lot of people the best part is just feeling useful and connected to the community um, and being able to do something um, for both themselves and for others. Mm. How can people become involved in volunteer work in this town? Um, so there's lots of different ways, but definitely um, contact Volunteering Otago. Um, so you can reach us um, on our website, mm -hmm. www.volunteeringotago.org.nz. Um, you can call us on 03 471 6171 or 6206. And you can um, visit us at uh, Dunedin Community House. We're on level one. Um, just come on in and up the stairs and we'll be happy to sit down and chat with you about the different volunteering roles that you can do. Volunteering Otago Manager Anna Clear, thanks very much for your time. Cool, thank you for having me.